In this video, I'm going to share with you seven summer activities, summer hobbies, and these are niches that you can use. These are not the most popular ones. These are kind of more obscure ones to help you get more sales on print on demand. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and I want to help you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. In this video, I'm going to tell you some of the niches, some of the topics that you should be designing for for the summer. I did a video a while ago, a year ago, this one right here about summer and there's some good summer niches in that one too. And those are the popular ones, you know, like hiking and camping and boating and fishing and things like that. In this video, I want to give you even more so you could still use that one. But this one, I'm going to tell you seven more that are not in that list. These are a little more obscure, hopefully a little less saturated. They're still very popular, popular hobbies, but they may be things that you might not have thought about doing. So you're going to want to watch this till the end. I'm going to share with you all seven. I make a good list of it and I'm going to share with you the list from last time as well. So you'll have like 14 different ones at the end here. So let's get right into summer activity number one. So the first summer activity I want to share with you is yard work. So this can be uh, mowing the lawn, gardening, uh, any of those kinds of things. I'm here on Amazon. I typed in mowing t-shirt. And you can see there's only 775 results. At least that's what it says. It could be more than that. But let's look at some of these designs here and look at the BSR. So these right here are BSRs, their best seller rank. And the lower they are, the better they are. You may not see these. I have a plugin that I'm using called DS Amazon Quick View. You can get that. It's a Chrome plugin, but it's showing all the BSRs for each product. And anything with like a 200 or a 100, less than 100, uh, thousand BSR is selling multiple times a day and even these are probably selling at least once a day so these are selling really well you can see um, mowing lawns lawn ranger now don't copy these this is just to show you that there's interest in this topic right people are buying this kind of gardening mowing lawns you can see here and it's just gonna get better and better as we get closer to summer while more and more people do yard work you can see these are gonna go down so Lots of different ways to do this. You don't copy these. These are just inspiration to let you know that there is an interest in mowing lawns and yard work, right? Who would have thought um, people love to buy this kind of stuff? People love mowing their lawns. And so maybe they wear this when they mow their lawns. I don't know. I don't have one of these, but you can see some very low BSRs already. So multiple times a day, these are selling. Um, and think of your own thing. Uh, think of what people would want to wear that love mowing their lawns. So you can see lots of good stuff. And you can look at these on your own as well. Um, but look at this one. Uh, it's under 200,000 right here. Law enforcement officer. That's funny. Law enforcement officer. So have fun with this one. This is a great one to start with. Um, this is, has low competition, but you can see is selling really well too. So this is your summer activity number one for this video, and that is yard work. Summer activity number two is kayaking. I typed in right here, kayaking t-shirt in Amazon. You can see this one has a little more results, so a little more saturated, but take a look at the BSRs on these under a hundred thousand on this one uh you know high two hundred thousands on that one two hundred thousand so lots of interest on here people love kayaking you can see lots of different ways to do this one uh this one's doing really well too you can see so there are there is an interest in kayaking um you don't have to have words on them you can see some of them just are graphics so that's really cool there's fishing in the kayak boat as well so think about that uh, lots of different colors and things like that. So have fun with this one. This is great for doing vintage stuff. And as we get closer and closer to summer, more and more people will be kayaking out on the lake or wherever uh, in the ocean. And you can see some mashups do really well too with the American flag and vintage sunsets and things like that. So have fun with this one. This is a great one to do. Uh, kayaking is a great sport that uh, have a lot of fans. A lot of people love doing it. And so if you just do one that, you know, maybe a vintage looking one or something that somebody would love to wear when they're out kayaking, think of that. That So that is the people that you're trying to target are 
people who love kayaking. So get into that mindset, um, design something that they would love. And this is your summer activity number two that you might not have thought of, and this is kayaking. So summer activity number three for this video is RVing or RV. I just typed in RV t-shirts here on Amazon. You can do the same and look at some of these examples. Look at that. Some very low BSRs as well. Lots of different ways to do this. Now it says 2000 up here and that's because that's the bigger niche, right? We're going to have to niche down if you want to do something a little more specific. So of course they're going to have more results, but uh, check this out. Some really funny stuff. Funny, I think funny RV shirts are going to be the way to go. Um, but you can do, you know, any kind of graphic stuff. Camping life, like right here. So just using some puns is a good way. You can see that one's doing pretty well. Um, different stops on the RV drive. That could be really cool. Queen of the RV, let's roll another pun here. You know, so... Um, people love to RV during the summer, kind of drive around the country and things like that. So um, very cool. Goes along with camping and hiking and all those outdoor stuff. So um, some really cool ideas here. Again, come up with your own idea, your own pun. Think, so, think of funny things that you could do. But some really good sales are here. Look at that RV there yet. 200,000. So Lots of good sales to be had here, especially if you get on page number one and people are looking for RV t-shirts. Um, this is a great one that people will buy during the summer. So have fun with this one. This is a big one, big niche, uh, and that is RV. So summer activity number four is riding horses. So you may not have done that or do that, but there's a lot of people that do, that love their horses and take them out and um, go riding. You can see this one has even more results. Horses a huge niche, um, but specifically riding horses. Um, you can see you don't have to have someone actually on the horse. You can see this one right here is just a horse and doing really well, but this one is someone riding a horse, Vintage Sunset. Just a graphic, no words. Look at that, 163,000. Uh, really low BSR. Uh, here again, another low one. This one's even under 100,000, so some big big sales can be had here uh, this is a big niche people love their horses so lots of different ways to do this too you can do it just with a graphic some funny text you can do a more serious um, things like that so have fun with this one uh, great colors lots of different types of horses too and of course mashing it up with uh, americana usa that kind of stuff you can see doing really well so graphics do really well too. People love just looking at horses, it's beautiful animals. So um, you can see that does really well. So think about just horses or are uh, mainly girls riding horses, but of course you can have um, men riding horses, cowboys and things like that. But I think there's a big group of people um, that love to buy it for, for girls. So you can th think of a uh, designed for girls that love horses you can see that those do really well too so just a girl who loves horses right you can see doing well so uh, you don't have to copy that phrase i'm just showing you that there there is a big demand for that kind of design so uh, think of your own phrase to to do with that uh, about people who love horses and riding horses and come up with your own unique style your own unique uh phrase and stuff and i think you can do really well on here if it catches on especially if you get on page one or kind of niche down you know for specific kinds of things maybe for girls who love horses and that kind of thing or uh, vintage horses things like that so have fun with this this is your summer activity number four and that is riding horses so summer activity number five for this video is skateboarding so you may not think skateboarding is a huge one because you know there's so many skateboarding companies out there and they might get the share of sales but look i typed in here skateboarding t-shirt 1000 results and yes there are things like vans and and thrasher and things like that but take a look at this this one just says skate right here it's a retro vintage skate doing lots of sales that's a great bsr right here here's a skeleton on a skateboard pretty good sales right and so these are just generic skateboarding things and they're doing really well in getting skills sales the um, american flag with a skateboard under a hundred thousand so don't forget about skateboarding if you can do one really well 
Um, this was a great one to have during the summer. And I think a lot of people just assume, at least I do, uh, that the skateboarding niche is going to be taken by some of the bigger companies that, you know, produce skateboards and, and things like that. And that's true. I think people will buy that, but you can see by the BSRs here that, uh, they are also buying these kinds of shirts. So, uh, think about that. Don't stay away from the brands. You can't do Santa Cruz. You can't do Adidas. You can't do, uh, some of these other things, but you can do generic skeletons on a skateboard and things like that and, and words and stuff. So have fun with this one. Um, just be careful and do your own stuff. Don't copy anybody else. You shouldn't be doing that anyway, but uh, you can get inspired on what kinds of things to do here. So vintage, uh, just graphics do really well too. So uh, think of different graphics that you could do with skateboarding. So this is your summer activity number five, and that is skateboarding. So summer activity number six for this video is disc golf. You may not have heard of disc golf. It's where you use a frisbee and throw it into uh, something like this right here, where there's that catches the frisbee. So that's kind of disc golf. You can see this has low results too. So this is a kind of underserved activity. Uh, there's a lot of people that play this, though it's a big community, and you can see um, these are making sales. Look at that: two hundred thousand, one hundred seventy-three thousand, one eighty thousand, and, and same thing. You can do lots of graphics, or you can do something funny. Um, with vintage stuff, but I think it does really well. Uh, probably one that isn't thought about a lot, especially if you don't play disc golf or never heard of disc golf, you may not know how to design for it. Do some research and see what people like, but you can see getting sales, right? Lots of people, there's a big community that does this and they probably wear this while they disc golf or people buy these for people who know that they love to disc golf, right? Makes a great present too. So. Um, lots of different puns that you can do with this. Lots of different ways you can mash up different things. American flag is a great one. Trees and things like that. So think of golf kind of things that you would do for regular golf, but use these kind of uh, graphics for the disc golf. You got the disc golf. Um, I don't know what you call this, like chamber or thing. That, uh, let's see. Oh, it's a disc golf basket. So that's what that is right here. If you want to, you know, get some graphics for that, I'm sure they're online or you can um, find it like that. So, um, this is a fun sport that people love to play during the summer when it's warm out there. So have fun with this one, design lots of good ideas for this one, come up with your own ideas. And this is your summer activity number six, and that is disc golf. So summer activity number seven, the last one is rock climbing. So rock climbing is a huge one. You can see on Amazon, I just typed in rock climbing t-shirt over a thousand results here and lots of good designs for this one as well. Big community in the rock climbing uh, hobby activity. You can see some lower BSRs right here, some good puns that you can use. So funny stuff I think would do really well for rock climbing as well as just um, graphics. So another vintage graphic right here. You can see this one's another graphic one, uh, just graphics right here too and doing really well with the BSR. So, you can mash it up with uh, people, uh, alpacas, um, just doing out, outdoors kinds of things. Uh, but graphics do really well, you know, kind of kind of incorporating the graphics of rock climbing. So really cool one right here that I think is underserved that you could uh, make a lot of sales in too. So uh, and, and some real easy stuff that you can do. Like this is just a graphic with a vintage sunset, right? So. I don't copy these, but you can see that graphics do really well. So I would incorporate it with some um, things like that, some different things, um, you know, the evolution, the cats, the different things. So colors, you make sure to use the right colors and things like that. So have fun with this one. This is your summer activity number seven for this video, and that is rock climbing. So here is your list, all seven that we covered today in this video. Yard work, kayaking, RV, riding horses, skateboarding, disc golf, rock climbing. These are some that I think you may have missed. At least I know I have. Um, and these are not as popular as some of the other ones. And I promised you some of the other ones from last time. And these are those right here. So I numbered them till 14. So you got the camping, the beach and the lake, hiking, grilling, boating, fishing, biking. So, so many summer activities. Um, you can do one a week and get a lot of these out there. 
I think a lot of these have some big enough uh, interest in them that you can get some sales on them if you, do, if you do them right, right? So think of what people who love these activities, what would they wear? So kind of get into the mindset of that. You need to design something that people want to buy, right? Don't just copy what's out there already. You need to think of something new. So do your research, do a little bit of research for these topics so that you can make something really great that people want to buy. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully all these summer activities are really helpful for you so you know what to design at least for the next few months for summer. If this video was really helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. The question of the day for this video is, what is your favorite summer activity? Did I cover it in those 14? If not, make sure to leave the, that in the comments or if it does leave that in the comments as well, I would love to hear it. Uh, maybe you have another obscure activity um, that you can do for, if it's something that you love, probably other people loved it too. So thanks again for watching this video. And if you wanna see that summer video or other um, niches to do, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one, bye.